family owned factory in Nagaya. So the essential building block of Kyojima uh, is this kind of building that you're seeing right in front of you here, where you have like a, a multi-building row house under a single roof. That's called a Nagaya. A Nagaya is a sort of a traditional building style in Japan, in Tokyo. Uh, mm -hmm. But the vast majority of them were wiped out either by the Great Kanto earthquake of 1923, which um, created fires that burned down most of the city, or then the fire bombing of World War II. And um, Kyojima, if you look at the map of like fire damage for each of those events, it's like a donut around uh, Kyojima, actually. Kyojima is very just lucky. And so it has some of the most uh, preserved, best preserved architecture of anywhere in Tokyo. And okay. including these uh, Nagaya row houses. Uh, and and, and uh, excuse me, uh, Joe, and yeah. this, this place is, is family owned factory, Mr. Abe. Mr. Abe owned this factory. Mm -hmm. This family owned factory is operated in this Nagaya mm -hmm. in a, one of the apartments. It is very interesting, right? It's typical yeah. Kyojima area, yeah. So, so Kyojima has always been kind of an artisan neighborhood. The classic thing is you have like an artisan workshop in the first floor of, the, of a, of a two-story row house and then on the second floor, you have the family who operates the workshop living there. Um, and that's, that's how a lot of these artisan workshops, they date back for generations. Uh, and that's a, there's a whole system of how these artisan workshops fit into the neighborhood, into the Japanese economy. That's, it's really unique, actually. It's unlike most other, other places in the world. So we, we can definitely talk about that more as, as we kind of explore them. But you can see here these, these uh, narrow alleyways. Um, a lot of these uh, narrow alleyways and the, this kind of spider web uh, arrangement of the streets here. Uh, if you, <laughs> spider if you, if you web. Back, yeah, it's, it's a little bit like a spider web. Yeah, and if you, I think so. If you go back over a hundred years, uh, this was an agricultural area uh, before it was, you know, became part of Edo era Tokyo. Uh -huh. And the um, old uh, agricultural footpaths, like where, you know, animals would walk, those <laughs> over time became developed in, into the alleyways and pathways of this neighborhood. Okay, thank you. Here is um, the join joiners family owned factory. The, the, Master is has been working as joiners for three generations. Joel, do you understand what I said? Yeah, joiners, that's My, like wood <laughs> joints, right? I think. So it is fit, fittings. They, fit. they make makes fit they is making fittings in house. Oh, these are metal fittings, yeah. Metal, no, wood. Wooden. Wood fitting. Okay, that's that's what I thought. Yeah, it's like wood, wood joints. Okay. Uh, yes. Here is the uh, the great craftsman. <laughs> I'm going to interview him. Okay. Okay. Oh, he, 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 えっとですね。こんにちは。いいね、これね。このグルマ。えっと。今度、あの、え、昨日は話したみたいに、えっと、京島らしさっていうのをもう一回教えてもらえますかうん。京島らしさ。はい。これ、あれだよ。その日暮
<laughs> hand to mouth, yeah. Hand to mouth, yeah, hand to mouth. <laughs> but he said no. Uh, he said just uh, tie, tie it, tie it. Uh, office worker. Uh, there were no such uh, people in in this neighborhood. You understand? Yeah, yeah okay. it's it's a very blue collar neighborhood. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. But um. でもとても、3代もやっておられるから、お父さん、おじいさんの代からやっておられますよね、ここで。そう。それで、うん。あの、関東大震災の前はね、本所あずま橋なのよ。あ、言われてましたね。はい。本所あずま橋。He south。south。ここ。いや、ロゴ。いや、ロゴジェネレーション。いや、ロゴ。いや、ロゴジェネレーション。いや、ロゴ。いや、ロゴジェネレーション。いや、ロゴ。いや、ロゴジェネレーション。
まあ社会検査とかですね。カツカツ。ビッグインカツ。ね、やってて一番もう幸せなんですよ。ああ、OK。And the artist, あ、uh, according to him, artist is a artist. He he is envied. The envied artist because the artist work really and also artist can can be the independent can live independently but i said to him actually no <laughs> it, it is very difficult to be independent to 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 work as the as artist want to want to make clearly It, it is very difficult to be independent, but they are happy. It's true. で、あの、オブラヤに行かれましたよね。え、オブラヤのあの、えっと、1階とか2階とか、1階はなんかこう、ちょっとアートをイメージしてるんですけど、それはちょっとどんな感じですかそうね、やっぱりさ、まあ、
ありがとうございました。見てる人で。ここカッパで。はい、ありがとうございます。またお願いします。By so Tokyo doesn't have a whole lot in the way of of um, green parks and things like that. There are a few, but but not really in the same sense you see in Western cities. But instead, uh, for over a hundred years, residents have always kept little plants and things like that out uh, in front of their entryways uh, that then bleeds into the street uh, because okay. you don't you aren't as set back. So. So that kind of contributes uh, uh, organic greenery to the area. Yeah. By the way, Joe, I'm going to enter Oguraya. Ooh. Yeah, Oguraya, and this this building, this architecture was built in in 1950s or the yeah maybe 1950s, and uh, this this uh. Summer, some artists renovated in inside this house. Okay, I will. Is that a dog? Yeah, we will. We will go and see inside. Let's go. You can see kind of the mix here of, of I'm afraid. classic I'm... Japanese architecture with modern art, art artisanal creations. Uh, Oh, I can't enter, but this this door, this old door, over this door, the there is a space will be, be will become a Nepal restaurant oh. next uh, next summer next uh next month next month open that will open next month okay and inside taking off my shoes and. This is the gap. <laughs> this is typical Japanese Japanese yeah. house, traditional Japanese house style. Okay. I would I am taking off the shoes. Here is a wall and the interior this kind of this kind of um, decoration. Yeah. Kazari. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I talked to I talked to Nick and the craftsman. Uh, their family were making something like this. Something like this sliding the doors or dolls. Yes, this llama is also. So they, they do some theater things in here. There's a beautiful kind of outdoor art installation that they're- Yes, exactly. This is, this is the sand garden and Mount Fuji. Everybody see this Mount Fuji decoration on the window? Joe, how about yeah. you? Okay, and this is the the thunder cloud, kind of thunder cloud. Yeah. Okay, and Goto san, are you? Ah, I I want I would like to show you the the. 
artist concept that is a that is a landscape of famous woodblock prints created by Katsushika Hokusai, Fugaku Sanjuro K. Have you heard of that? Katsushika Hokusai's name? Hokusai is the famous uh, artist behind you, know, the, the yes. 100 views of Tokyo. Oh, yes, this. this. The, the Great please, Wave. Please uh, look at this and uh, Mount Fuji and this, the light side of white things is thunder cloud. Oh, the, the, like the clouds, the, yeah, kind of match up. Yeah, yeah. And the, the we we saw this uh, in with me. It's closest clo closest part closest part of, of us is a sand kind of um, something like the sand sand hill or sand mountain. Is this? Mm. Uh, so it's kind of a mixed media yes. interpretation of hokusai yeah, art hokusai, installation yeah, in a yeah, traditional hokusai. Japanese house. So you, you can kind of see here uh, how an, an artist moving into this traditional neighborhood has created something very new and modern yes. inside um, a traditional architectural shell. And it's yeah. coexisting in the neighborhood with these older craftsmen neighbor factories and craftsmen uh, families. Yes, I think so that this kind of atmosphere is old traditional Japanese architecture. But then the artist Tahara, uh, Taka, can I, uh, let me see, his name is Tadahiro. Ka na? Tadahiro. Tada, uh, his name is Tadayuki Tahara. Tadayuki Tahara is artist's name. Artist, if artist renovated the old house like this, like, like this, something, something new story, something a different story and value to the old space like this. In, as for this room, uh, Katsushika Hokusai's landscape is his concept. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay, thank you. So, Takano san, Ima, guest of the Mitteru Stoa, Kunimas, Joe Yigai, Rokunimas, Moshe, so Nani, hi, Sumon Garebane, it took the site, you know, okay, um, 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 Everybody, uh, my English not that so great. So, if possible, if you have something, something you want to know, uh, <coughs> please ask me without any hesitation. Okay, I'm going to climb the stairs to the upstairs. Okay, it's so dangerous. I miss this building. I last year was having oh. <laughs> fun exploring in this building, but there was an art there was an art expo in the neighborhood uh, recently that just just finished, and so in, in this building and a lot of others, they were doing all sorts of uh, art installation. Okay, it felt like a Hitchcock movie just then. Yeah, <laughs> it's got that vibe. This is the upstairs. This is uh, this aisle is sounds like the seems like the traditional, but inside ceiling. Look at the ceiling. Is the painters painted octopus on the ceiling, and the other and another room next to the room is the, the artist painted the crown on the ceiling. It's unusual, right? <laughs> yeah. And this, this design is, is renovated, but based, be, being based on the traditional style. Japanese traditional style like this and 
this 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 area is staggered staggered shelves and like this is alcohol place traditional alcohol but artists renovated this alcohol space into the metallic place like this so they're taking all the traditional elements of a, of a japanese architecture that you would, you would find in, in this building traditionally and they're they're kind of oh. ripping on them and doing different artistic things with them yeah yeah his artist name is guy hirose as not a uh, artist artist would the would renovate the old old architecture always they put something creative things into the old place i like it i love it i'm fascinated <laughs> and this is a water pipe graffiti so th those are the shapes of Japanese characters, actually. Yeah, yeah. yes. Ch Chinese, a Japanese character, and it means full, full, full characters. It means uh, sunset, sunrise, a sunrise, sunset. But not only, not only display, it's actually water pipe. So oh. I'll, I'll turn the whole set now. The water comes out from from the faucet, going coming through the water pipe successfully. It's great. I like it. How about you? <laughs> now this no no ten year okay. warranty on those pipes, but yeah, <laughs> not not only just a just a display pipe. This is actual water pipe <laughs> and uh now this room is used um uh, used for uh, used as a used as a of shared shared office uh now is under coronavirus situation so it's it <laughs> we have the social distance in each space <laughs> See, <laughs> one, two, only two. <laughs> now, uh, so far, we will put an, put more chairs in this office, this office booth. Okay, uh, everybody, uh, have any question? Please ask me. I, I'm happy to to have your question. Jay is asking, how is the electric uh, situation in these traditional houses and the heating? Um, you know, does it get very cold in winter? Okay. Hmm. こんな電動的な部屋であのあの暖房とあの電気そんそんなそんなこと大丈夫ですかあの近代的なアパートなんかに比べると暖房ですかうんあ、like Air conditioner, we put the air conditioner, it will it will work. It will work well. No problem. Putting shoes back on. Was this originally a house or was it always a shop? The, the mm -hmm. master, the webmaster is adjusting the camera 
adjusting the camera direction. Please wait. Okay. Okay. I, I believe this was originally a house. I, I want to say it was originally a house. Okay. Musco, is, Musco, uh -huh. is that correct? That this was originally a house? Yeah, house. House, yeah. not Nagaya. This is a house. And it's built okay. in 1950s. Not, oh, right. not okay. that old, not that yeah. old. Yeah. Okay, we will move to, to the Kira Kira. Okay, shopping we're going street. to the, Let's the go. shopping street. Yeah. Oh, the rain hard. <laughs> I'm so. <laughs> Actually, I had another question. She said there was going to be a restaurant opening next week, but are, are restaurants open in Japan? Restaurants? With COVID? Th their coronavirus situation is much, uh -huh. much better than America's or Yeah, Europe. <laughs> exactly. Um, oh. But also, I hope it stays that way because uh, they don't really have the legal power to shut everything down, like, like in a lot of other countries. Um, post-war constitution there were actually a lot of concerns about how much power you give the the, the post-war new democratic government to shut everything down like that uh, um, because the previous imperial government had abused uh martial yeah. law and everything um but so far ever in, in tokyo people are generally very good about voluntarily you know wearing masks keeping distanced um so that's helped with Okay, I will. Yeah, okay. I will walk, walk to the Kira Kira shopping street. So, I, while we're walking there, I just want to note something. So, these uh, traditional artisan workshops, um, you, you might think, okay, well, these are kind of the last remnants of a traditional dying system and you know, cheap Chinese manufacturing will replace them all. Uh, but actually they're, they're, I mean, they are, there are fewer of them, but they're actually finding a new interesting niche for themselves in the modern age. But, oh, first, uh, turn, turn to the right, turn to the right. Musko-san, kendama no omise. Ah, gokune, hi. Yeah, so this is a, this is a cafe. Um, there's a traditional Japanese game called kendama where basically you have a ball, a wooden ball attached to a string and you like flip it around to get yes. it in the cup. Um, but it's it's also, it's it's kind you of a hipster that. thing now. You can do tricks with it, like kind of like a yo-yo. You can do like yo-yo tricks and stuff. And the guy who owns this place, he's actually a kendama champion. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and so he opened a kendama themed cafe. Um, and the economics of micro businesses are a lot easier to make work in Tokyo uh, compared to New York or SF for a variety of reasons. But if you have a little niche dream like that, you know, the little cafe or whatever you want to open, that's much easier to do here. Uh, even, whereas in, in New York or something, that kind of thing would be replaced by a Starbucks or a Chipotle before uh, very long. Um, but what I was just going to say is the niche that these artisan workshops have these days uh, is actually for for prototyping for international companies. You know, if they want they want a small batch prototype because uh, they're still fine tuning things. They've got highly skilled precision craftsmen who who know this old equipment like the back of their hand, and so they're now starting to link up with this global supply chain uh, to do high skill prototyping work. So um, we're we're going through a side street to, to get to the main shopping street here, and you're seeing uh, on the on both sides of you, you're seeing a lot of businesses where there's residences up above and then businesses down below. And that kind of reflects uh, Japanese zoning is very wide open. You, you can have anything on the bottom floor of your row house you want, basically a bar, a restaurant, um, a little grocery store. Um, some, we're, we're, oh, oh, on the left here, um, my laboratory is actually working to renovate uh, this uh, building here. This is an old, a bakery that was here for about a hundred years, um, and it, 
and they finally um, they, they're finally selling it off, but they're taking this classic bakery and uh, okay. renovating it into something new. Uh, okay. Our laboratory does architectural work, so we're helping with that. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. So you can get a sense of, of just how old this shopping street is. In traditional Japanese neighborhoods, a shopping street like this, where the merchants live up above their shops, uh, is called a shoten guy, is kind of the heart <laughs> of the neighborhood. Yeah. Right? Sorry, Mutsuko-san, if I'm shabete sugi chattara, Jimmy's over. No, shabete, shabete, go, go on. Please okay, go on. I'll keep talking. <laughs> I was just checking that I'm not rambling too much. Uh, but the in a shopping street like this, you'll see some newer shops, like you saw a supermarket back there, and that's that's a very new thing in Japan to have a supermarket versus the traditional neighborhood greengrocer. So you're starting to see some new businesses moving in, but still a lot of the old uh, traditional businesses. And when we get to the front of the Shulten guy, I'll also point out some some really cool avant-garde artist uh, <laughs> space stuff that's coming in. Um, it, unfortunately, because the the rain, uh, things are 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 more shut down today. Uh, but you can kind of see with the red brick and everything, uh, this this shopping street uh, is is really the heart of the community and has has been for for generations. Okay, John. I will, will turn left and oh. enter the the white winding path. Do you oh. remember this street? Oh, Mutsuko san, ano kamenya miemasu ka? Nanyo? Kamenya, ano ano shoten gai no iku de so, so okay. to kuro, to ni, uh, I understand. Yeah. yeah. I, I'll, I will go come in yeah, later. Okay, later. We'll see. Okay. okay. The avant garde art thing will be later. Right now, we'll go on okay. the wine. Um, part of, yes. Um, COVID has a big impact on people being out on the street. Uh, it's kind of the opposite of America, oh. right? In, in America, you know, the, the numbers are catastrophic, but no, like people are still going out. In Japan, the numbers are low and people are staying inside to keep it that way. Um, so partly the rain, uh, partly um, uh, partly COVID, but yes, this is uh, the, the fewest people I have ever seen uh, along this stretch, uh, walking along. So one thing you'll notice here is that there's not really hard and fast sidewalks. Um, but at the same time, uh, you don't see a ton of cars coming through. And so in Japan, that division isn't really a, a, a strict division, but the layout of the neighborhoods is that kind of complex spider web that just kind of grew up over, over <laughs> <That's> generations. <awesome. laughs> yeah. so if you're trying to get across town, you go on the main arterial oh. roads. You're not trying to cut through neighborhoods to save time. Uh, so you, they're, they're very <laughs> useful for pedestrian. It's very useful for pedestrians. You don't have a ton of traffic competing with you even though cars are allowed. Cars are only okay. coming from these winding streets if they have a good Joe, reason. Joe, look at this. Yeah? Oh. Look at this. Nice this Nagaya. Nice old Nagaya. Yeah. yeah. The, the street is carved, but along the carved streets, this Nagaya was built. It's So the Nagaya curves too a little? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. The, uh, Joe, do you know this white, white winding street used to be a river? Ah, Ankyo. Yeah, Ankyo, yeah. Dane. That's why. That's why this a lot of cars. Ah, so there's a special kind of street in Tokyo called Ankyo. Ankyo literally means like sort of like uh -huh. a covered wa waterway. Um, Tokyo is as much a city of rivers as, say, Venice is. Wow, uh, but, yes. but over the course of generations for, for development purposes, a lot of those waterways got covered over by freeways in the 1960s. <laughs> uh, or, or... Okay. Joe? Yes? 
could you introduce this this uh oh the water well, pump well, yeah that's a old well, tiny water pump well well pump yeah to to get the well water yeah because the, the rivers are still running they're covered but the rivers are still running underneath even uh the famous <laughs> shibuya crossing no. has a river underneath it um, so the water is still there and yeah it it comes out a little <laughs> yeah so you have these winding flowing streets that are are just their rivers uh converted into streets and this they tend to have kind of a loose uh character they they're not like a strict you know planned grid oh ano ano kejiban yeah so 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 the the no, sakura janakute ano tonari no kejiban yeah so this okay. green board here this is this is called a kejiban a notice board for the neighborhood oh, and I see. kejiban are interesting because in every like japanese block you have a kejiban um that's just for notices from the neighborhood and when you look at one of these boards you can kind of get a sense of whether the neighborhood is very new school or very traditional like in a, in a <laughs> new internationalized neighborhood it'll just be very public announcements uh, like uh -huh. but in an old traditional neighborhood sometimes it will be you know mrs yamada broke her hip and she's in the hospital if you see a strange man around her house that's her son just taking care of the property so like they, they they're kind of features of the community oh yeah. uh, across the street here this this little this parking space here uh you you might think why am i pointing out a parking space but this is actually really interesting here the parking space and vending machine so in america <laughs> in america when you have land that you're not sure what to do with it a lot of times the one profitable thing to do with it is like turn it into a luxury condo um in tokyo one of the profitable things to do with with land a little slivers of it is to turn it into paid parking spaces um because parking is incredibly expensive in tokyo and um and so when a house gets torn down sometimes it won't, it won't be replaced by a new house it become a parking space uh and people will take like breaks from work just hanging out in these parking spaces because there there's not really you know big public parks nearby uh, but you're seeing some of the the, the greenery that I was talking greenery. about where people just so put greenery. plants in front of their houses yeah. for you know the last 150 years and nice. that kind of takes the space of like official city managed greenery instead um by the way please yeah. jump in ask questions i uh -huh. I'm, i'm rambling but i'm happy to answer any questions you guys have yeah <laughs> Thank you, Joel. <laughs> yeah, good. This is greenery, right? Yeah. And this is Eve. Are you seeing our little posters up on the walls? Those are election posters. There's uh, you know, from a recent city election. And... Last year, Mutsuko took me on a tour, and it was near Tokyo Tower, and it was, I guess, the I forgot the name of the garden, it's a very large garden. How far, what part of Tokyo are we actually looking at? Because it, when, when she took me on the tour, it's very, lots of tall buildings and very active. So is this near the center of Tokyo or? This about 30 minutes away. I actually, I was living right by Tokyo Tower. Uh, so I know exactly where you're talking about. Yeah, it's about 30 minutes by train. Okay, um, yes, I think so. 30 minutes. Yeah. If you catch the right train. How cold? How cold is it today? It's cold. Ah, it's very cold and rain. It's it's terrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it feels very kind to go out in this weather. Cool, cool. Yeah. I I'm stumbling. <laughs> so what I was saying before about the zoning in Tokyo, that you can just put anything in the bottom floor of your house, an, a factory, a bar, a restaurant, a little oh, shop, whatever it, suits you. Oh. 
oh, it's traditional statues. But, but I, what I was going to say is that that kind of helps that be, be really interesting when you go down these winding streets, there are all sorts of different things to discover because it's not just like segregated between residential and everything else. You can have interesting little things down these alleyways and they don't have to necessarily make a ton of money. They can be for the local community because just, you know, someone had some space available in their ground floor and it doesn't cost a ton of money for legal fees or licensing. Um, oh, we're arriving at some, some Nagaya here. We're out on the main arterial road. Um, with these post-World War II, they constructed all these major roads. But uh, here you can see, um, these are some Nagaya <laughs> under Nagaya. 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 Civil apartment Nagaya, right here. Yeah. Daiki, the guy holding the umbrella, has been very helpful in the whole <laughs> community in renovating these Nagaya. He's kind of uh, the, the power behind <laughs> the neighborhood uh, making these renovations happen. Um, but so yeah, the 100 years old, not in the greatest condition, but they're giving them new life um, because it's it's rare traditional architecture worth preserving. Let's go. OK. Oh, it's Black Lives Matter sign. Cool. <laughs> there were pretty decently sized Black Lives Matter protests. Oh, World Board Game Cafe in Seven Seven Apartment Nagaya. Beautiful conversion this, of this. This view, this Seven Apartment Nagaya, that is um <clears throat> will be will be uh, demolished and rebuilt. Maybe soon. The plan is not fixed yet, but before that, the limited time, the tenants, uh, owners lend the tenants to use freely. So one of the tenants, uh, Mr. Suminaka, planned and opened this wild board games cafe here. Ah, board game cafe, nice. Oh, there you go. The board game. game, board game. And so that is a old, old architecture inside the wild board game cafe. <laughs> like this, the yeah. board game. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. It says 1 million percent welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one million percent. In a mix of Japanese and English. <laughs> yeah. One million percent welcome. And one of the tenants is a foreign foreign artist group. The leader's name is Rafael. Rafael yeah. Joe, would you have a conversation with yes. Rafael? Yes. yes. I would love to talk to Rafael. Raphael disappeared now. Okay, Raphael. <laughs> Sorry. Raphael disappeared on us. Okay. Disappeared. Well, I, I I will say this for about uh, 20 years. Um, it was about 20 years ago that a, a Mexican artist. Uh, came to Kyojima and found it really interesting and wanted to start doing uh, art projects in Kyojima. And since then, there have been a, a handful of foreigners who come and do art projects in, in Kyojima. Uh, it's, um, it, it's actually starting to take off more uh, as, as Kyojima reaches out to the world a bit. 
Um, Kyojima doesn't want to become like, uh, you know, Golden Guy or Shibuya or one of those areas where, you know, it's just cool. swarmed with tourists, but at the same time, they do want to reach out to people who understand and respect the culture of the area uh -huh. to bring their own kind of international ideas and flavor. Um, and there's, for example, there's, there's a really cool um, artist craftsman residency space uh, in the shopping street now where if you're a, an international craftsman or creative type, you can live up above a shop space. Uh, and then during the day, you can sell your art or your crafts on the shopping street, like you're a merchant, you can be a merchant on the shopping street for a week or two if you want to, uh, like a part of the community um, as an artist residency. Uh, there's a, a, a really talented um, art director moved to Kyojima and she opened an art uh, <laughs> library and, and, uh, and overnight stay space in one of these uh, Nagaya row houses uh, that's like un unbelievably beautiful on the inside. Oh, 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 on the left here. Mutsuko, uh, show us through the glass. Yeah, come in, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, put put the camera on the clear glass. Yeah, to, uh, to, to, to me taking the tokoro. Yeah, so if you, yeah, yeah. Um, if you put it right up to the glass, I think you can see through. Yeah. So we are, at one of the most interesting really? yeah. places. Um, it's maximum. <laughs> yeah, so in, this is a mask shop. They sell both traditional Japanese masks and these like avant-garde subculture masks. Um, it's, I, I was just, they keep very weird hours. It's kind of mysterious. And I was just walking by one night and you see this like glowing mask shop. It's like something out of a Zelda game or something. And it, it's it's very rare that they, when they're open, but when they're open, you get to explore inside. It, it's, it's really incredible. Um, some are 3D printed, some are traditional craftsman items. Uh, it's it's a, a wide range. Um, and so, so that's it's cool that this can be on the main shopping street. Um, it, it obviously it's not really there because it's the most profitable use of the space. It's there because someone had a personal vision uh, and they were able to make it happen. And so that's kind of go, ties back to what I was saying about how the the economics of small businesses in Tokyo in these kind of traditional neighborhoods is very friendly to personal <laughs> visions like that. Um, like um, what Mutsuko-san was saying just a little bit ago about the owners of those, uh, you know, seven Nagaya that are about to be demolished and rebuilt, letting them open a board game cafe, cafe temporarily. Mm. Um, the ownership of land in Kyojima is much more spread out than in a lot of other places. In a lot of other places, you have like one big landowner who kind of controls the whole neighborhood. Here, it's a bunch of tiny little landowners um, with their own, just their own personal quirky connection to the area. And that makes a lot more things possible. Because if you talk to a huge real estate corporation and you say, hey, I want to open a board game cafe in a building you're about to tear down, They'll, you know, they'll be thinking about like liability, like what's our motive, like there's no profit in this. Here, it's just, you know, it's an old guy who's curious to see what you want to do. And it's like, sure, you know, I'm not doing <laughs> anything in the space, uh, yeah. take it over. And, and a lot of times property was in, inherited uh, through the generations. And um, it, it's a, maybe it's a young guy who doesn't even live in Tokyo anymore, but his grandpa's uh, house is here, uh, that kind of stuff. So it-, it yeah, it, it's more flexible uh, because of that. And um, I'll, I'll let Mutsuko uh, talk if you anything you want to say about this uh, row house here. Hey. I missed it. I missed to said about craftspeople, craftsmen in 
in feeding feedings uh, joiners factory and uh, he said he is welcome to collaborate with artists to innovate the old houses like Oguraya <laughs> and uh, like there's a uh, seven apartment Nagayas any kind of Nagayas artists and uh, craft people it, collaborating between them is very will be nice will be great I think so so Japan is a country a lot like America in some senses, including, I feel like in both Japan and in America, talking about economic class is kind of a taboo. Like in America, you know, everyone describes themselves as middle class. And I think in, in Japan, similarly, you don't hear about economic class so much, but I think there definitely is a divide in Japan, including in Tokyo between you know, very sort of white collar, you know, kind of elite neighborhoods and more working class neighborhoods. And so the, um, the young people that have moved into this neighborhood, this kind of DIY creative types, I think are easier for the craftsmen, older craftsmen generation to respect because they, they have skills with their hands. They're not, you know, just lifetime company employees sitting at a a desk at a computer all day um and and so there's there's kind of a like a kyotsuten you'd say in japanese like there's there's like sh commonalities there uh that allow them that allow them to relate to each other but even then it took uh daiki san in the red jacket there it took him about a decade uh to to really get the uh local older generation to trust him uh in these nagaya projects um, so it, it's it's definitely it's it's not something where you step in overnight and and build and and you're taking over the place. You, it, it evolves organically oh. over time in collaboration with the existing community. Here is a uh, Nagaya share house. You remember, Joel? This is a not you know cute cute cute. You remember? Two day, day share 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 house inside the yeah. share house two day. It kitchen share the kitchen and oops. This is dining kind of, room. Like a hostel share house kind of arrangement. Um so you 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 can stay in this Nagaya um yes. for varying lengths of time. <laughs> uh, so is very proud of the Nagaya architecture. Yeah. It's, it's a rare <laughs> thing in, in Tokyo to have these kind of row houses still. Here, Nagaya, uh, here, here, this, this place is downstairs and uh, the living, living and dining room is, is in this place downstairs and upstairs. There, there is some compartment uh, as a bedroom, independent compartment, Koshitsu, mm. independent rooms for guests and for visitors. So um, I think <clears throat> I'd like Joel and Goto-san to uh, talk about culture, Nagaya culture, each other. And sometimes I will try to interpret in English, okay? And sometimes okay. I'll I'll end your conversation, okay? Tare ga hajimaru. Tokoro de, tokoro de. By the way, ah, Goto san, na, ah, Nagaya no yoi tokoro. Nagaya no, ah, no, kore kara Nagaya o, Nagaya grassi o, osusume shita i na, ima de koso. Uh, what is a uh, Nagaya's um, very good point in especially under the coronavirus these days? Oh, the safety net. Okay, the is it means he said safety net to live uh, a. a 
that everybody can avoid the isolation. Yeah, it's it's Nagaya naturally lend themselves to a more communal lifestyle than a lot of other housing in Tokyo. It's it's really interesting to think about the link between architecture and community. Like if you structure your your layout of your neighborhood or your layout of your buildings in a certain way, you tend to produce certain kinds of community, certain kinds of interaction. And Nagaya have historically and, and today still lent themselves uh, to this, this kind of more village style, small scale mm -hmm. communal living. So Nagaya, uh, in Nagaya people can can rent a uh, hot plate or condiments or houseware or something in the in the, the things tools are communal communal tools for the tenants for all tenants in Nagaya life. I think it's great. What do you think? This is the upstairs. I can't see anything. So you can see how if you're if you're a sort of bougie 20 something um, who likes you know modern amenities, you're you're not gonna come live in a Nagaya, but at the same time. It's not a bad place to live either, especially if you're if you're kind of you're not super fancy. You you you're a creative artist or a DIY type, and 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 you just want more the community and want a space that you can shape yourself to make it what you want to make it. Um, and oh, are we going in the back? Or? Uh, there's an interior courtyard for a lot of these. Uh, it's a nice uh, traditional arrangement where you could you could have a nice quarantine pod with your fellow Nagaya mates. So a lot of people have heard of Marie Kondo now and and her kind of philosophy of minimalism and and uh, it's very, very much uh, not uh, the norm in Japan. I think most most people, average people living in Japan, they tend to, to have a lot of uh, stuff. <laughs> みんなの自由スペース。自由スペース。自由スペース。自由スペース。自由スペース。自由スペース。自由スペース。自由スペース。自由スペース。自由スペース。自由スペース。自由スペース。自由スペース。自由スペース。自由スペース。自由スペース。
for other cities around the world. How would you bring a little bit of the spirit of Kyojima uh, to, to other cities? Mm. That's, that, that kind of question is what I'm thinking about right now. どう<笑> ジョーは。コロナ they are very iso feel they felt isolation because the the telework in the in office and the tele lesson in the university always they were alone in in their apartment so for for people moved to here get to become a member of this this row houses uh, this uh, share house yeah avoiding the isolation it's key point key, it's keyword yeah oh uh tom fazio yeah. uh, yeah. letting someone back in yeah oh, nani? <laughs> oh i i think just someone had technical problems so they, they okay. just fixed it yeah but uh i think that uh i'm i'm worried about how, uh, about how uh, how keep the um nandaro privacy they don't need their privacy uh they they need the they need a communal or strong bond with each other rather than privacy it's a little little mm, uh, oh, difficult to balance to keep the balance in in this share house what do you think um this is funny um so i love share house living i'm very extroverted i like uh okay but, but my, my wife is prefers more her privacy and so oh, I, I think it would be like it would, it would be heaven for me and hell for her probably but uh, it's what i'm thinking right now um Oh. Yeah. 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 Is, but I think I think people mo who move to Kyojima, they tend to enjoy that kind of communal feeling. It it attracts a certain um a, a certain kind of uh type, I think. So yeah, probably uh, yeah. suited well suited to uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but um uh, sometimes I I really need the privacy, and sometimes I felt isolation. And help me, somebody, somebody talk to me, <laughs> help me. But um, this, this is this room. This this share house is has a private room, and the the tenants members go downstairs. There is a living room, communal space with somebody hmm. are chatting with each other it's it's good it's good system i like it うん。例えば、京島の要素で、京島の要素でこういう古い建物、リノベーションアート、あと町工場。うん。今聞いてくれるゲストは何が興味ある? Mm -hmm. yeah. So Daiki is asking about the different kind of points of Kyojima. What what mm -hmm. really I have the most interest in between uh the like the the artisan shop houses where you have the shop floor on the bottom and the, the family living up above, uh, or the um, traditional architecture or the kind of share house. 
art DIY renovation culture. Um, so I, I'm, I, I think for me, it's, it's kind of all of the above coming together. Uh, and the way that um, you can walk through uh, Kyojima and you can see that it's a space where the young are finding interesting things they love. The old have, older generation has, has the parts of it they love and it all kind of, it's more than the sum of its parts, like Ego no Kimari Monku, like more than the sum of its parts. Like it's, um, it, it's bigger and better than it would be with the two <laughs> of them alone. But what I love is the contrast because we are in this, in Kyojima, we are right near uh, Tokyo Sky Tree, uh, which is yeah. uh, you, you know the big modern it, like development that's like even bigger than Tokyo Tower, and so here in Kyojima, you you have this traditional neighborhood, and then you look up at night, and there's kind of the glowing sky tree uh, looming over the neighborhood, and just that that contrast of old and new, and a generation uh, kind of finding new things for themselves of, of what they want uh, this neighborhood to become. I, I think that's that's really fascinating. Um, I, Joel, uh, what about um, the other participants? Uh, how about uh, how about Matthew or Tom and and J. J. Matthew, Tom, J. And and parents of Joe. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah, um, my parent my parents uh, wanted to see these uh, tours I've been doing. And so yeah, my parents um, were watching what, this one. What do you like best? The the family owned factory in Nagaya and two is Nagaya and Na Nagaya lifestyle of Nagaya. Three is Nandake. Mitsumo Art. Renovation. Renovation. Re renovation by artist. What 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 part did you like best? Do you like best today? Renovate three. You you like all three? the third one or all three? Renovation by artists. Oh, reno one? renovation by artists. Yeah. Uh huh. That's, that's yeah, just the interesting things. I like the fact that we could walk around and just see so many things that were unique and different yeah. and little. You know, different. just turn a corner and there's something new that you can yeah. explore. Oh, like the mask shop and all. Yeah. Yeah, the little statues that we saw. Uh -huh. that were there. Yeah, thank you. I like it. Yeah. Yes. It's all that the one that parking you, space that somebody's using for their retirement, uh -huh. the money or something. The, yeah, yeah, just that everybody can do their own thing and it all kind of meshes together interestingly. Mm. Yeah, uh, do you like together, all of the three? brought together oh. some interesting things I didn't know, like when Joe had mentioned the zoning laws, you can have the business downstairs mm -hmm. and live upstairs and and, and oh, it, it's thing. it's yeah. by right too. It's there's no there's your your neighbors have no ability to say you know no you're you're not allowed to do that. So imagine you know in, in New York if you could open a, a bar in your bottom floor with zero input from your neighbors and it's just the expectation that you will be considerate to them. Um, it's it's kind of a legally it's kind of a gray area in Tokyo where at the same time like everything is permitted and nothing is permitted. And so um, in, if it really came down to a dispute, uh, the, the police would kind of serve as mediators sometimes between neighbors, but generally you don't want to involve the police if you don't have to. And so neighbors will just all kind of, kind of talk to each other and get a sense of what's acceptable. Um, and so I, I had friends who were opening little bars in the bottom floor of their, their houses um, and they, even if legally they could stay open until a certain hour, they don't want to piss off their neighbors. And so they, it's, everyone is trying to be considerate of each other and, and it actually works pretty well that way uh, as a system. Does the same go for hmm. guest houses? Because I stayed in Fuji, so at, way outside the city. And I noticed that some of the quote unquote bed and breakfasts were just downstairs of people sometimes they had another business and they mm -hmm. kind of throw a bed, a bed in the back or something. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, guest houses are now under some uh, special uh, regulation. Airbnb became such a boom here that there was uh, the hotel industry kind of lobbied to have them more tightly regulated. Um, and the theory is that after the Olympics and when the hotel industry has captured the profit from the Olympics, that the Airbnb rules might, might loosen again. Uh, so they, mm -hmm. there's kind of behind the scenes politicking with guest houses, but for al almost everything else, it's just, you know, you want to start a business I and mean, you just fill out a form and just hang up whatever you want to hang up and just open your door and, and you're, you're open. It, it's um, just such a completely different model. Um, if you open a restaurant, the health inspections for your little mom and pop restaurant will be only once every five to seven years. Uh, so oh. it's, it's a, but at the same time, you don't get sick eating out in Tokyo. Like it's, it's, a, it's a trust system, but for a number of reasons, it, it works. Um, trust system. Mm. Yeah. Uh, oh, so, 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 I, I understand. Yeah. So, trust system is, yeah, very, really work in Japan. Mm. Like a culture so, of personal responsibility. They yeah, not, not by law and not by police power. It is yeah. miracle. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of miracle. And uh, Goto-san said, uh, that if, uh, when the fire happened, the mm -hmm. everybody, everybody should be involved in the fire. So uh, yeah. we're all, all the, all fate, fate community. Yeah. <laughs> fate <laughs> community. <laughs> so, so everybody, each help each other, helping each other is natural. That culture is handed down from Edo period, uh, yeah. from the Edo period, mm -hmm. Nagaya style, lifestyle. And the fire is, fire is not just a random example. It's actually, um, there are these volunteer firefighting brigades uh, for, for most neighborhoods in Tokyo that are kind of like a fixture of the neighborhood, almost like a, a uh, rotary club or something like that, that, um, that are, are, are part of the way that the, the community comes together. And my young friends, they're like, oh, I would never join that. That's for, you know, that's for the old guys. But then, you know, all the old guys, they're like, oh, I said that when I was 20 something too, you know, every, every <laughs> month, so I don't care about that stuff. And then you get older and you get more entrenched in the neighborhood and you become part of that fabric. And so, uh, the the um the local shrines managed by what are called Cho Naikai Jiji Kai these like local government organizations and then the Shobodan the uh, volunteer firefighting brigades uh, they they kind of form this local soft governance structure they're not like a yeah. homeowners association they're not like banging on your door like you know you use the wrong paint on your house we're gonna fine you uh, oh, they, they wield kind of soft power, soft influence oh, so, so. through the neighborhood. And th this system goes mm. back <laughs> to, to pre-war. あの、あの、あの、<笑> It's very interesting. It's, and that, that's what I was saying before. It took Daiki 10 years to really get in with the neighborhood uh, to, to have him trust. That was with those organizations, those kind of local yeah. soft power organizations. Soft, organization, yeah, organization mm. soft power. Yes, okay. Daiki, you know, shows up as a kid with a dream and, and joy. Of what he wants to do. Joy? J, Jay, Joy? Ah, 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 ah. What happened? I, uh, I, I would like to uh, talk, uh, talk to, to, talk to somebody. Uh, be silenced. So that is my, maybe Matt. Matt. Okay. Yes. Matt Hi. or Jay. Both people never talked never talked to, to talk to us yet so please 
please tell me something. Okay. Uh, and and please uh a little slow down, please. <laughs> well, thank you. This is a really interesting tour, mm -hmm. and um, and I think I enjoyed the building with the octopus on the ceiling. I think that was beautiful. Oh, thank you. The, the octopus, and also just walking around outside and seeing the streets and the uh -huh. neighborhood. I was very surprised how few people there were, mm -hmm. but that's, I guess, because of the rain largely <laughs> and the cold. Yeah. Thank you. But it's, 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 I feel like I'm in Japan, so it's fun. I enjoy it. Thank you. Wow, thank you very much. And what, what part did you like, uh, did you like best? How about the, the family owned factory? or the Nagaya or the art innovation? I think all, all of them were interesting. Oh, thank you very much. If you are yeah. interested in the whole, of, whole, whole, whole um, atmosphere in Kyojima, please, please come to, to visit uh, Kyojima in maybe next year. Next year, okay. this vaccine will work. <laughs> vaccine will Perfect. work. I hope so. Yeah. How about Jay? Jay? Hello. Hi. Hello. Name, I'm Utko. Jay, I'm from Canada. Hi. Thank you so much for the tour. That was amazing. Thank My you. My favorite part was uh -huh. the community billboard. Oh, with the, so nice. Uh, Oh, we, yes, I, I loved it so much. I think that represents how much everything is based on trust and community. And that's like, that's the epitome of all of this. I really enjoyed it. Uh, and I joined uh, a little late when you guys were touring the workshop, the family mm -hmm. workshop. And I, I started like two years ago to be an artisan myself. And I re oh. it's really familiar, like the workplace. Wow. That's and I loved it. And I was like, okay, I, I get it. I, I, see, yeah, yes. I see what ah, yes, yes. And then you, you went outside and I saw so many different things. I loved everything, but I started oh, home. So I really liked the tour. Thank you uh, so much. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, maybe cool. um, ne next time we'll, we will, maybe we will visit um, different, different parts. So if you have time, join us again. Okay? Yes. Yes, Thank I've you. been friends. Yes. Thank you. And Tom. Tom. Hi, Tom. Hi, Tom. How are you? Good to see you. <laughs> good to see you. How are you? Good. I am good. Okay. Uh, what, what do you, uh, what part do, do you like best? And I'm interested in a special atmosphere in Kyojima earlier. Uh, it's a hard question because I did enjoy everything. So especially, oh. but if um, the family business and oh. also the and and um, the tour with the upstairs, going upstairs and seeing yeah. the um, seeing that whole traditional kind of um, building. So going upstairs and looking at the metal pipe artwork, the plumbing. So that yeah. whole that whole thing, the indoor stuff. And, uh -huh. and the whole tour of that and then of yeah. course then everything coming together as a as a tour on a whole so putting it all together and being specific to one neighborhood so if i shouldn't say if when i come to japan yes. i'm thinking more in terms of not so specific of what i liked but just keeping it focused on one neighborhood and how they all kind of uh -huh. all of those things come together so thank you yes okay mm. thank you. Thank you, Joe, uh, everybody, and Joe and Joe's parents. Thank you. And the Kore do Shimai? Ah, the time is up. Sorry. Thank you very much. I love you, all of, all of you. Thank you. See you. Thank Bye. you, guys. 2021. Bye. Thanks for the, this was the best tour yet. Thank you guys so much. Thanks, Thanks Joe. Thank you. Bye. 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 See you so soon. See you. Next time. Thank you. Bye. 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 B